This is you some healthy so? vegetation. You know what we need? Multispectral. Nice. Hey guys, it's Cody with ODR and Eric Duke. Pleasure to be here, Cody. We're gonna go over the Mavic 3M today and teach you about a little bit of multispectral. He works with me with the agriculture stuff and the multispectral stuff, which is what we're gonna go over right now. Pleasure to be here. Good. It does the multispectral. It records the differences of the band of light that rebound off of the vegetation. And using those different bands, you can tell you know, the health of each plant or how many plants are. Okay, so that gives you the health of it. So if it's dying off, you're gonna see a different color in right. the spectrum? Right, like overwatered, it can be underwatered, whatever. You can tell the difference between the between all of that. And it'll show on the map too. It's usually red means good, which is pretty backwards, but red means good, and then yellow to green. Okay. would be the difference. That makes sense. But it's basically just plant health, something. So, okay, so you said that it'll tell you if it's being underwatered or overwatered. Now, can it tell you if it's dying or decaying or if it has any uh, it'll show sort of disease the the worse that the plants are off in general it'll show a difference between it basically just shows the overall health of the plant sample that you're looking at so it won't show up different if it's overwatering versus disease it or can it just depends on how that's actually affecting the vegetation at the time okay so if the vegetation is obviously being affected more, then it's a little more obvious. All right, so we're gonna spin the drone around. We're obviously having fun here. And we'll just break it out and put it on the table so everybody can see what's going on. Duke's gonna grab the remote there. DJI RC Pro controller. That is the one. Go ahead, throw this on. And then this one case has the M3M in it, the controller, and three batteries as well as a charger and some other wires and things in there. So Cody, what's this thing on top here? That's the RTK module. It stands for real-time kinematics. It's for really precise uh, positioning for mapping. So you know exactly where the pictures were taken so you can have accurate maps. Okay, so you would uh, just overlay that when you do post-production? It's already qualified in each picture. The pictures have a measurement of where they were taken. So when you put them into mapping software, it kind of just auto fills it and they know where they're supposed to go. Gotcha. Multispectral itself is cool, but that's really just the gimbal. Everything else that we're looking at is just- The same. It, it's, a, it's a Mavic 3. The Mavic 3. I mean, yeah. Okay. Any Mavic 3 that you have, a thermal, Cine, E, whatever. I mean, it's a very common drone. There's nothing too crazy about it. All they really do is slap that different camera on it and throw the RTK module on it, which is always included, by the way. And there is a light sensor at the back, actually. I just remembered. Bring it up. That guy right there is how you're gonna tell between the differences of bands of light, depending on lighting conditions. Like right now, we kind of have overcast. So these measurements would be different than if we were, you know, perfect blue sky with sun over top. And that sensor makes sure that those things are uh, quantified. Now I'm in the camera view. Drone's already fired up. I have it over on a basketball court right now. And then I can start up the props. And we'll lift off. So I'm gonna get pretty high here. We'll do, I think, 200 feet. Yeah, I think uh, between 150 and 200 is good uh, height to do multispectral viewing. And that changes all your GSD, which is ground sampling distance. So the higher up you are, the less quality you'll get, just because you are farther away from whatever subject you're recording. So from here. We can just take a look around, look down this soccer field and everything, and then I'll swap into multispectral. Here we've got a multispec map. Not sure which color gradient this is, I'm gonna change it. That's the NDRE. NDRE, good call. I'd like the NDVI personally. So here, everything we've got is, all of the red is doing pretty good, which if you look around, it's pretty healthy. So if you look, like a so that really good right example, there is yeah. Right by the goal. Yeah, where the, where where the goal dirt. is kind of tearing up all that yeah. grass and it's really weak and been okay. damaged. You can kind of see where that's all. Yeah, then over on the left side of the screen there, you can see where it's torn up by mm -hmm. the corner over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Better example would be these lines you can kind of see. I don't really know how to highlight those for you guys, but some lines around the map there on the uh, far far edge of the uh, thing. Yeah, I'll zoom up a little bit. Would that indicate um, elevation of the grass as well? So like if it's freshly cut and you have lines in the grass? I think what that's actually showing is some damage caused by the lawnmowers and stuff that have gone over there. If you really look close to it, it appears to be like tracks and things that are going through there. So it looks like that may be a different elevation there 
where the lawnmower is cutting a little deeper and that's affecting okay. the, the plant health a little. Look down, look around, see if I can find anything else. So here's a great example. So it looks like, I mean, you can kind of tell that when they play this soccer field, it looks like they kind of abuse that corner of the field there. And that's where you're seeing all this damage again. You've got it around the goals where the goalie's really beating it up. You got some highlights around the uh, corner spots for the corner kicks and things like that. But yeah, you can absolutely see where the wear and tear is. And I promise you, you look at this right now, and you can't see anything from the grass. So again, the whole point of multi-spec is to kind of make it as efficient as possible. Obviously, most of this field may not need treatment as much as these pieces that are really abused. But yeah, you can see like most of the field is in pretty good shape. And typically you just go through and treat the whole thing and try to make sure that all the grasses is good. But frankly, all you really need to pay attention to are these damage sections uh, next to these pavilions. So really, I mean, maybe 40% of the field actually needs attention and that'll save you time, save you money, so. Cool. That's good. I'm gonna swap cameras real quick, go back to visible, bring the gimbal down, see where we're looking. Gimbal up, there you go. So Duke, that is the multi-spectral uh, Mavic 3 and the maps that you can see with it. Yeah, that was a really cool platform and it was really cool to see the actual decay in the uh, vegetation and uh, mm -hmm. through the filters, it was really cool. Now, soccer field ended up being the perfect subject for it, so that's awesome. I'm glad that we uh, got that and you could really see the, the differences between healthy vegetation and messed up stuff. So, if you guys have any questions, hit us up at Ohio Drum Repair. Hey guys, this is Cody with ODR again. I uh, just wanted to introduce. Who are you introducing? You can't say that. Fine. Gotcha. Ugh.